I thought I was going to be a stage designer. My folks took me to Yale University, who had the one main degree in stage design, and the director at the school at Yale said, he'll never make a living doing stage design. So we, this was depression time. We came back to Cleveland, and I just decided, well, I'll go to the art, art school and see what happens. I started out thinking that I was going to be a painter. I liked working in watercolor. I sat next to Fred Miller, who had done quite a bit of jewelry before he came to art school. And I said, I'd love to find out something about making jewelry. And he said, well, I'll teach you what I know. And I took a small set of tools to the Army, and I made rings for soldiers' girlfriends. <laughs> I eventually became a second-year design teacher at the Cleveland Institute of Art. Lawrence Schmeckebeer was the director of the art school, and he called me into his office one day, and he said, Cleveland has enough watercolor painters. We don't have any goldsmiths to speak of. Why don't you just concentrate on your gold? And I think that really got, sort of got me started deciding that well, I am going to concentrate on the gold. Gold is so beautiful, and I very early on got to be in love with just fragments of gold and the way they could be combined. I like the fact that rather than being highly polished, it could look sort of rough and almost primitive in character. I worked out a way to do granulation, which wasn't being done much at that time except in Europe. To any artist, I think the main thing is to keep working and be true to your own visions of what you want to do. I've always thought insects were beautiful. I like spiders and bugs and beetles, and I have just thought women don't usually like spiders and bugs and beetles and I'll try to make them as beautiful as I can in gold and enamel and see if I can't get them to, to wear them. There were some people who said, don't do bugs, John, but I kept on doing bugs and uh, they sort of caught on. You're always hoping that the piece will turn out to have the feeling quality that you sort of thought it was going to have. And actually, over the years, I, I, everybody asked me this, what, what's your favorite piece? And I, I really have no favorite piece. I, I'm just happy with all of them because they all have different personalities. And uh, that's what you're working for, to try to get some sort of personality to come forth in the piece.